This is the All Sessions list. It's the first thing you see when you open Z there. It shows you all the sessions that you have access to and that your group has access to as well. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to create a new session, which you can review later or share with your friends. I'm going to skip naming this session and go right into creation. The first thing it does is bring me into the camera. I'll snap a picture. It's OK, so I'll use it. And now you will see that this gets automatically added to the session. That means it's saved on the server for you to use. I'll select the picture. When I touch the screen and gesture, my voice is recorded. I can also add pins. This is a window. This is a balcony. Now let's go back to the session and play what we created. When I touch the screen and gesture, my voice is recorded. This is a window. This is a balcony. If I want to go back and hear what's on any of those pins, I just touch them. So we've created an image and added some voice annotations to it. That's basically how to make a session. We could have added more images if we want. Now let's go back to our session list. We can see that the session is now in the session list. It's on the server for us to use or for any of our group members to use. Anybody can go into that session and add more pictures or add more voice annotations. If you happen to be on a good network, you can actually use Z there to collaborate live as well. So let's take a look at that next. Okay, so now uh, a friend of mine and I are both on the same session. You can see that both of our email addresses show up on the bottom to indicate that you're both in the session. Do you like this house? Do you like this house? Yeah, that balcony area looks really great. And that's how you use Z there. It's the perfect tool for sharing and discussing your world, either live with your friends and colleagues or by creating sessions that you can share later. Thanks.